my humble contribution today can be summed very concisely with the following words. I plead with the permanent members of the Council to reason with their governments, who quite often, of course, provide them with the straight jackets of instructions, to tell them we cannot move anymore like that because the United Nations will become the laughing stock of the whole world. We should remove the injustice, allow the Palestinians to exercise their right of self-determination, not scatter them to the whole, to the four winds, not to compel them to take the law into their own hands when they are frustrated, but that they should, that their homeland should be restituted to them. And then and only then would it be possible for them to come to an understanding with the Khazars. But you know, sir, why the Khazars don't want it? They know they have no future there. They'll either be assimilated, and if they wage war, there'll still be Arabs waging war, unfortunately, and for both sides, and people suffer. This is the truth. Baroudi tells you the truth. Politics, dirty politics, whether it's on an international level or the local scene, we can't afford it nowadays. The world is one. Distances have shrunk. What happens here resounds on the hills of Asia or the jungles of Africa or the islands of the Caribbean or wherever it is.